okay this is a bit to show you how I turn this with the removable weights this is a five pound this adds another five pounds and all of them together is a 15 pound weight for your pressure cooker I am going to turn this into a 12 pound weight now we know each of these are the same part number. They both have the exact identical part number. I'm not sure if you can read them. And they're both the identical weight. Oh. I had 22 last time I've weighed it. Maybe one slightly heavier than the other. Yeah, one is slightly heavier. So, you know, okay, I guess they just alter a bit. Um, what I'm doing is making a 12 pound weight. So what I did was I did some math. I went with the 22 pound or 22 gram and I know that it's a 5 pound weight so um, I have to multiply it by 4 in order to get, or sorry, 0.4 to get the correct weight. So what I ended up with was instead of 22, you multiply it by 4, move the decimal point over, and you have 8.8 .8 grams. Now, this is 9 grams. This is 4 spacers. They are three quarter inch spacers. I don't think that you should do this without weighing it. I don't even recommend you do it, period. Um, this is not in the manufacturer's directions, but there are four of them. So if you do do this, you're doing it at your own risk. I take the four and I put it on this guy. They are three quarter inch. They fit nicely. They're not going to be moving around. And I'm going to make sure I have the 22 gram weight on here. Oh, and that would be it. As you can see, it was really slightly different. Now, if you look at these guys side by side, you can see that they have oops, a slope to them. I put the slope side we put them together you can really see it. I put the slope side down so the heavier is at the center and it now holds the ring on or holds the weights on that I put on and we'll see in a little bit if I actually have a 12 pound weight because I'll come right back and I'll show you how it worked. Okay this is showing that my adjustment came out perfect because it's just above 12 pounds pressure and when it goes to just over 13 it makes a slightly different noise. So then I know I need to turn it down. And this is my second run through with the canner today. Sorry about the jiggle with the camera. Um, I'm finding that I have to turn it down really the first initial time and once I get it set in the sweet spot I'll have to turn it down once or twice later. The last 40 or 50 minutes of the first time I put it through, I didn't have to turn it down at all. So it may only be one adjustment compared to about 15 to 20 adjustments that I was making. Um, the adjustments were much more frequent with the set regulator when I had to watch for pressure poundage. And the drawback is, excuse the dirty stove on the bottom, it is the second run through. The burner is at a much higher level than before. Normally by the end, the burner is barely on. This has a double burner in it. And usually the center one is all that's on. And that just doesn't happen when we use this regulator, but I don't have to babysit it nearly as much. So 
it depends on if you want to babysit it constantly or if you want to save energy because those are your choices when it comes to this and I'm just glad that it really worked out well because it starts jiggling at the 12 pounds right on cue it works perfectly it works absolutely perfectly I now have a 12 pound regulator that goes 12 to 13 pounds and it's all good thanks for tuning in and remember this is not a recommended thing to do this is just what I happen to do to set my regulator for a 12 pound regulator which is appropriate for my altitude and you know this is certainly not in the ball canning book it's not on the Bernardin website this is something that I stumbled across and it worked really well for me and my purpose because I need to be able to go and sit down and relax in between especially for the longer canning sessions where you're canning two or three batches so thanks for tuning in and I hope you have a great day